Hey guys, it's Nancy with Better Life Blog and I'm super excited because I am ready for summer and I know you guys are too. I have designed the summer SVG bundle and it's got this awesome beach truck in it which I have behind me um, and I'm gonna do a tutorial on that for you but I just wanna really quick go over what is in the summer SVG design bundle which is $345 worth of stuff. It's amazing and it has everything in it it's only twenty dollars but it's got tons and tons of files in it it's got graduation it's got father's day it's got beach stuff it's got lake stuff it's got fishing stuff it's got camping stuff it even has a little mini movies um, bundle it's got travel stuff um, it's got fourth of July it has everything you guys are going to love this um, and it's gonna easily pay for itself because of all the files that are in there if you're making any gifts if you sell products um, if you make and sell items um, there's a commercial license that's included so that's awesome so this bundle is definitely gonna pay for itself so check it out um, you can go to betterlifeblog.com slash summer tour to see a full tour of all the files that are in there or betterlifeblog.com slash summer and the links are in the description box um, so make sure that you check that out um, enjoy this tutorial I hope you love this summer truck this um, beach truck it was really fun to make um, and if you like this video I would totally appreciate it if you would um, hit the share button share it with your crafting buddies with any of your crafting groups I would totally appreciate that. So without further ado, let's get started with this tutorial guys Okay, so the first thing I do is I'm just cutting out this design on Ormask 813 stencil vinyl link can be found in the description box and then I have this wood board It's about 12 by 16 inches and it has been sanded down um, So that it's nice and smooth. It does have this imperfection Which we used spackle to fill that up actually my husband did it and he sanded it all nice and smooth for me and then I've got this Waverly chalk paint, um, which I love. And I just um, take some, take like a foam brush or something, and I'm just gonna cover this whole entire board. And I'm just gonna make sure and get all the sides. Um, my hands are definitely gonna get a little dirty and you might see a little cameo of my spring truck you might catch it on the back side there it is <laughs> uh, I did this on the back side of that um, old one so that's a fun little Easter egg there and then I use painters tape just to kind of tape my stencil down so that it makes it easier for me to do my weeding without the uh, stencil moving around so much and this thing that's on my finger is, um, it's actually a nail polish holder. Um, so if you've seen my videos before, you've probably seen me using it, but the links are in the description box if you wanna check that out. Um, this was pretty fun to weed, it was pretty relaxing. So I, I use tweezers. I actually found some really super pointy tweezers. Um, which are for blackhead removal. It's kind of sounds kind of gross, but they were super duper pointy. I tried using those. Um, it was actually a little bit harder than I expected, but I think it was because the little points were not touching. So there was they were like slightly off, so they weren't gripping perfectly. But anyways, I just went back to using my standard um, tweezers. They did come in handy a little bit later on, which you'll see probably in the video. So just getting all those pieces um, right in place. A couple of those dots moved out of place. So this is a really fun design. Um, lots of details. This is maybe one of the more detailed trucks. This one and the, um, the spring flower truck were both pretty detailed. Lots of fun details um, in both of those uh, signs. And now I have a complete set of all the trucks. So in case you missed it, there is now 
a truck for every single season. Okay, so I've got my transfer tape and I am going to place that right on the stencil there. Bringing my board back, it's all nice and dry. And first I'm gonna sand it. I'm gonna sand it with a very, very light grit sand sponge. And I usually have um, a tack cloth, which is some, it's a, just a tacky piece of cloth that kind of picks up any of the dust from the paint. Um, but I couldn't find that, so I had to just kind of make do without it. Um, and I actually paid for it later, so if you can, try to find a cloth or something to clean that off after you sand it. Um, and then I am transferring the film right on over, and I'm getting ready to paint um, with all of the different colors. But first, I am going to do, <laughs> I've got to add my Mod Podge, which I always seem to forget. So don't forget to take some just standard Mod Podge. And you just want to go ahead and just squirt that all over and paint a really thin layer over it. Careful not to put too much. I think I actually put a little too much this time and it kind of presented some challenges a little bit later. So keep it really thin. Um, and then once that's dry or somewhat dry, you can go ahead and start painting all the different colors on there. Um, I used a combination of different types of brushes um, depending on the size of what I was actually painting. So I had some angled brushes, I had some larger brushes. Um, I have also used makeup sponges in the past which are really nice because you can kind of just dab them really, really gently. Um, so lots of different tools there. I also keep a, like a jar of water and some baby wipes and towels and things so that I can clean off my brushes really easily and uh, fix up any mistakes. enjoying this video I would absolutely love it if you would share this video with your crafting buddies and uh, hit the like button and comment below I'd love to hear from you Okay, so now that we're done painting and it's fairly dry, I'm going to go ahead and remove all that stencil vinyl. Um, I'm going to get my tweezers and I'm going to go ahead and just remove all those tiny little pieces because um, they're they're on there pretty good. So you got to have some patience and just remove each piece one at a time. You want to be careful not to do this too aggressively because you don't want to lift the paint on either side. Um, I actually did that in a couple of areas, but if you're if you've been painting fairly thin coats of paint, um, you shouldn't have that problem too much. Like I said earlier in this video, um, I think that the amount of 
Mod Podge that I put on was a little bit too much. So just be careful that not only the Mod Podge is a thin coat, but also the paint that you're putting on is a fairly thin coat too, and it should be okay. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this tutorial. Make sure you check out that summer bundle and let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you're on YouTube, make sure that you subscribe and be sure to like and comment as well. Um, and if you are on Facebook, I wanted to let you know that Facebook actually hides most of my posts from you. So even if you've liked my page, there's a good chance that you've missed many, many of my videos. So if you like seeing my videos and you want to see more of them, all you have to do is just follow these steps. If you're on a desktop computer, just hit like and then following and then click see first. Or if you're on your mobile, make sure you click like and then following and then get notifications. And then you wanna click see first. And now you'll get notified anytime I post something new or if I do a live video. Thanks for joining me and I will see you next time.